Does a Pfizer vaccine cause strokes and people age 65 and older? I know you're wondering. My dad literally sent me a text when he saw the headline saying, hey, what's going on? Uh, so let's talk about where we are with this and uh, sort of what the answer is at this point. Um, the CDC has a document up um, dated January 13th, 2023, and they basically described what happened to bring us to ask this question. So the CDC has this thing called the Vaccine Safety Data Link. It's basically a near, almost real-time surveillance surveillance system? Well, this surveillance system um, met the statistical criteria to um, prompt an additional investigation into whether um, there was an issue with people 65 and older getting the Pfizer COVID vaccine and having ischemic stroke. That's the question. Um, and more specifically, the question is, okay, um, people who received the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine who are 65 and older, were they more likely to have an ischemic stroke in the 21 days following vaccination compared with days 22 to 42 following vaccination, okay? And that's what the headlines were is, you know, hey, um, you know, may prompt stroke, maybe a stroke after Pfizer, da, 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 blah, 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 blah. All right, so this signal was generated. And, and by the way, I should say, it's a good thing that we have these databases in place, these ways to track what's going on in the world after giving vaccines, etc. This actually, and many experts have said it, I agree, this should give us confidence because we want someone tracking, hey, is there some bad stuff happening after we're getting the vaccine, all right? Um, by the way, I should say that this preliminary signal has not been identified with the Moderna vaccine. It's just been those uh, who got the Pfizer vaccine, okay? The other thing to keep in mind is that this particular um, surveillance system that I mentioned showed a signal, but the good news is to date, no other safety systems have shown a similar si uh, signal and multiple analyses have not validated the signal. So what's good about this is what this means is that we've been looking at other databases, not just the specific VSD database. Okay. So I know you're saying, okay, Dr. Jen, that's a lot of gobbledygook. What are we, so what you're trying to say, what's the deal? So I'm going to read this part verbatim from the CDC. And they say, although the totality of the data currently suggests that it is very unlikely that the signal in VSD represents a true clinical risk, we believe it's important to share this information with the public, as we have in the past, when one of our safety monitoring systems detects a signal. The CDC and FDA will continue to evaluate additional data from these and other vaccine safety systems. Um, the, uh, these data and additional analyses will be discussed at the upcoming January 26th meeting of the FDA's Vaccines and Regulated Biological Products Advisory Committee. Okay, so just for another perspective that's not the CDC, um, I saw in a recent Washington Post article that they uh, quoted an FDA official who said, uh, and I quote, um, we have looked at the totality of the evidence and there are no concerns at this time that this represents a true safety signal. Again, this quote is from an FDA official uh, as reported in the Washington Post. But now let's go back to the CDC's statement uh, from their website dated January 13th, 2023. The CDC, they think that uh, a correlation, that a connection is highly unlikely. And uh, right now the CDC is recommending no change in vaccination practices, meaning we're still recommending that everyone six months of age and older uh, stay up to date with COVID vaccines. Um, and uh, also getting your boosters is very important too. Remember, COVID vaccines uh, and the boosters reduce the, the likelihood and the risk of hospitalization, death, etc. cetera. Um, what I will say is that they said, okay, January 26th, we're gonna discuss this further. They will, but uh, they believe it's highly unlikely that there is a connection between the Pfizer COVID vaccine and ischemic stroke in people over the age of 65.